Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ever episodes of the Machines of War series. In today's episode, the Supermarine Spitfire. This Spitfire is a British fighter used by the RAF and other allied nations. It was in factory production from 1938 to 1948. It had 20,351 units built, of which there are only 54 that are still airworthy. The Spitfire was designed by R.J. Mitchell until his death in 1937. R.J. Mitchell was the chief designer at the Supermarine Aviation Works. After R.J. Mitchell died, his colleague, Joseph Smith, took over the position as head designer and continued to refine the Spitfire. The Spitfire had its first flight on the 5th of March 1936. It was introduced on the 4th of August 1938 into the arsenal of the RAF. During the Battle of Britain from July to October 1940, the Spitfire was considered by the public to be the main fighter of the RAF, although the Hawker Hurricane was used in greater proportion. Although the Spitfire was less numerous, it had a better victory to loss ratio because of its better performance. The Spitfire had a key role during the Battle of Britain. It was tasked with engaging the Luftwaffe fighters, mainly the Messerschmitt BF-109E. The Spitfire showed to be better than the Hawker Hurricane and became the backbone of the RAF Fighter Command. It saw a lot of action in the Southeast Asian, Mediterranean, European and Pacific theater. The Spitfire was a pilot favorite. It was mainly used as a fighter but sometimes even as a photo reconnaissance aircraft. The original Spitfire airframe was powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. The Spitfire airframe was strong enough and capable enough to use a more increasingly powerful Merlin engines in the later marks. In some of the later marks, it used the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine. As a result of the constant upgrades done to the Spitfire, its performance and capabilities improved. The Spitfire was a result of the Air Ministry's call for modern aircraft that can fly up to the speed of 400 kilometers an hour. In 1941, R.J. Mitchell had assigned the Supermarine Type 224 to fit this requirement. Originally, the 224 was a monoplane with bulky gull wings and a large spatted undercarriage. Powered by a 600 horsepower Rolls Royce Goshawk engine. Its first flight was in February 1934. The Type 224 was a huge disappointment to the team. After the Type 224, Mitchell and his team started work on the Type 300, which had a retractable undercarriage and a reduced wingspan of 1.8 meters. The design was submitted to the Air Ministry in July 1934, but it was not accepted. But Mitchell and his team did not lose hope. Nay, they continued to improve on the design. They knew it would be a world beater. The new design included an enclosed cockpit, oxygen breathing apparatus, smaller and thinner wings, and the new, more powerful Rolls-Royce V12 engine, later known as the Merlin engine. On the 1st of December, 1944, the Air Ministry issued a contract providing 10,000 British pounds to Mitchell for the construction of the improved Type 300. On the 3rd of January, 1945, the contract was formalized with one minor change. The armament was changed from the 2.303 Vickers machine guns to four, count them, four .303 Browning machine guns. Factory production of these beautiful machines was supposed to begin immediately, but unfortunately, they did not start until the mid until mid 1938. Thank you for watching the first episode of Machines of War. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Gamer Omer, and I bid you goodbye.